Hello mommies. After rejoining my work, I have got lots of DMs in Instagram asking how I manage work and family with two kids. Here in US, we don't have any other external support systems like elders or mates. We have to manage all our works by ourselves. And the main keys are planning and sharing. Share your work with your husband and don't forget to involve your kids as well. Every little help counts. Keep your breakfast menu as simple as possible. Homemade muesli dunked in warm milk is my number one choice on busy days. If this goes out of stock, I'll immediately opt for red rice flakes soaked in warm milk and chopped nuts. You can add any sweetness like cane sugar or coconut sugar. Multigrain porridge topped with nuts and milk is also a healthy and quick option. Grinding idli batter in the weekend helps a lot in breakfast and dinner times. Just when the idli is getting steamed, you can make your quick chutneys. Or whatever gravies you prepare for lunch like sambar can be used for breakfast or lunch with idli or dosa. Even if you don't have time to make any curries or chutneys, you can just steam idlis and enjoy it hot with protein and calcium rich homemade idli powder made using black gram and black sesame seeds. When it comes to lunch, I make simple meals with lots of veggies in it. I often opt for cabbage rice, cauliflower rice, broccoli rice, spinach biryani, vegetable biryani, lemon rice or curd rice with some veg side dish. To save more time in the morning, you can chop the veggies in the night and refrigerate. All these easy rice recipes are available in my website www.myhealthykiddo.com. If vegetables are chopped and ready, this meals can be prepared in just half an hour. When I was a homemaker, I could get up so early, but now after joining work, my body demands more rest. So I get up only at 5:45 a.m. and I enter kitchen by 6 o'clock. In just 1 hour, I wrap up both lunch and breakfast. My little one is just 3 years old and she has just started her play school. Her play school timings are 8:45 to 11:15, just 2 and a half hours. But I do pack her lunch daily so that if at any day both I and my husband had meetings around 11, we would not be able to pick her up at the right time. On those days, we would message her teacher to keep her in daycare for one more hour and at that time she would eat her lunch from her lunch box. Even if we pick her at the right time, she would come home, open her lunch box and have her lunch by herself. So eating from lunch box during school days have become her habit. By the way, my hubby was making the scrambled egg to go with cabbage rice. I fill the boxes with food and my elder one helps in packing them in respective lunch boxes with filled water bottles. Sharp at 7:15, Nila steps out of the home with her dad to the bus stop. After sending her to school, I take some me time to get ready and then I wake up the baby at 8 o'clock. I supervise her brushing the teeth and at the same time I have a stand up call which I attend using my airports. After her turn, I do one more round of brushing to cover all the areas that she has missed. Encouraging babies to do their own work from very young age makes their life and our life easier. And believe me, toddlers will love to do their work imitating the adults. Consistency and practice are the keys. Giving drinking water in a small cup will be easy for them to practice gargling. I hand over her breakfast bowl and join my another call which is at sharp 8:30 every day. That's just a short 10 minutes call. Once I wrap up the call, she would have been done with her breakfast. Then I clean her up and make her ready to school in just 5 minutes. And this is the main reason I have shortened her hair to share my morning time. She is too picky with her dresses, clips and even socks colors. I couldn't afford my morning time for her to select whatever she wishes to. But I do give her ample time in the night to select her dresses, clips and socks. Believe me, this one single act will avoid so much of drama in the morning. I have followed the same for my elder one as well, keeping the dresses and bags ready in the night. will give us all a relaxed and very good morning start 
First day she happily went to school and then one week went with tears. Then slowly she started to like it and in no time she started to love her play school. Daily they send pictures of what they do, how they are and we feel so connected and feel happy to see that the kid is enjoying, exploring, socializing as well as learning. As I'm working from home, I just send her to the regular play school timings and I don't want to extend her to be in the daycare. They give a small snack around 10 o'clock and rest all time. They play, draw, sing, do some activities and just enjoy. My hubby usually picks her at 11.30. If not, we'll send a message and she'll have her packed lunch in the daycare at 12 o'clock. If he picks her at the right time, she'll come home, freshen up and eat the same packed lunch from her lunch bag around 12 o'clock. Baby led weaning is really a boon to moms. If you want to know how I transitioned gradually from traditional weaning to baby led weaning, I have already uploaded a detailed video on the same. I'll give you the link to that video in the description box. Do check it out mommies. Baby led weaning is not a very big deal. But once practiced, you'll feel so relaxed just like me. Three meals and two snacks. She eats all by herself. And no screen time while eating makes her fully concentrate on her food and enjoy her food. For the next one hour, she plays with her toys. Don't just dump all the toys in the toy room. If they see them daily, they might lose interest. Hide some in the storeroom and keep rotating the toys. The one toy that is never ever bored is her kitchen set. She can spend hours together with her kitchen toys. Get some toy fruits and vegetables that are stick together using velcro and cut apart easily using a play knife. Playing in the toy kitchen is just like imitating adults and so these little copycats love this toy kitchen very much. Believe me, my 10 year old is still playing with this. As I'm working, I don't ask her to go out of my working room. She just plays next to me and I concentrate on my work. As the kid shares my room, she doesn't miss me. And as the kid is playing safely near me, I feel relaxed and I can concentrate so well in my job. Kids will get used to the nature of our work and they do understand better. She'll never utter a word during my meeting unless she's really cranky. Keep many activities handy like coloring, painting, play dough, kinetic sand. All these will keep them occupied for a longer time. She'll intimate me when she feels sleepy. Once she's sleepy, I'll rock her in the cradle and she'll just fall asleep in 5 to 10 minutes. She'll take her afternoon nap for at least one and a half hours and this is a solid time where I could work more productively. Sharp 3 o'clock, I'll walk to the bus stop to pick my elder one. By the time she comes home and refreshes, the little one will get up. Once she gets up, she needs me for some time to cuddle with and then she happily plays with her sister. Fruits are my daily snacks and apart from that, I'll have one snack that is made over the weekend. I'll give the video link to this dates, burfi or laddu in the description box. After a snack, if it is summer time, they play outside. If it is winter time, they play indoors and this is dad's time to take care of them while I prepare the dinner. We take turns in engaging the kids so that I to get some fresh air. When I am out, he'll be doing his contribution to the dinner. Winter time, they stay indoor, but the girls innovate lot of games together. My hubby loves to grill chicken for dinner as he's in low carb diet, but we too grab one or two from him. Most of my dinner will be idli or dosa with a simple chutney and my hubby's grilled chicken. If I finish my work earlier, I prefer making paniyarams with chutneys. My kids love this, but the underlying batter is the same dosa batter. We have our dinner at 7 o'clock and after our dinner, it's Nilani study time. When I teach her lessons, I give some activity to the little one. She loves to explore with her watercolors. Sometimes she too joins with us with her book and I read to her parallelly. 
it depends on her mood my hubby loads the dishwasher and i chop the veggies for the next day we love to include lots of veggies we brush our teeth choose the dresses for tomorrow keep the bags ready and come to bed at sharp 9 o'clock together we read a book with the little one switch off the light and talk stories about the day and slowly we fall asleep and that's how our day ends hope you have got some useful tips from this video thanks for watching till the end